Hey everybody, here's the newest, uh, newest deal for my uh, hot water heater, coal fired hot water heater. I'm converting this stove over to heat hot water. Uh, I had those radiators hanging on the sides of the stove there earlier on. That didn't work out too well. Uh, and then I coil up some copper and put, uh, put clear up in the top of the stove on the inside of the firebox. That didn't work out too well. It, it uh, actually changed the way the stove operated, so I, I took them back out of there. So now I've peeled the. Uh, there used to be a, a steel top plate right there. It is. There used to be a steel top plate on that stove to make a a plenum here to work. Warm air would blow in between the top of the stove and that top plate warm air would blow or air would blow through there by a blower and, and heat the air so I peeled that top plate off and I set set one of these radiators on in here and another one back here and I've actually got that stack of, of copper coil right there there's actually a, an interior you can see it there I got a four inch coil on the interior and a six inch coil on the exterior and I've got one of those on each side here and then I've got them plumbed up that center pipe will be the, the incoming water and it comes down and it's teased into both those radiators and then from there it exits out the other end of the radiators and uh, goes to the center center coil in the, each stack and then back up the, the uh, six inch outer coil and each, each coil exits right up there so I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have cold water coming from, from the barrels over to the inlet here into the radiators and then through the radiators back up through the coils and it's, 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 it's going to be a two circuit deal and I'm going to have one one tube going to each one of my heater barrels over there and then uh, I'm lucky enough to have a uh, sheet metal uh, fabricator in the family so he's going to come over here this week hopefully this week and he's going to box all this in with with sheet metal put a sheet metal box over it it's going to be a, a, a double walled affair uh, and then we're going to insulate the whole thing with rock wool and he's going to wrap it wrap that rock wool again with, with sheet metal so when this stove burns hot I can take my heat gun and right here along the top my heat gun will register about 450 degrees right here on top of this stove so I'm, I'm believing uh, uh, with with those coils and the radiators there's uh, 410 feet of 3 8 copper tubing on top of this stove so I'm hoping that uh, I should have some pretty good hot water out of this affair Find out. So we'll find out. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Oh, as far as my fish in the barrel, I did just get my uh, my new uh, load of uh, baby fish in here last week. But I'll make I'll make that another video. We'll, we'll talk about that later. I've just been so busy trying to get some some heated water going here. I just haven't had a chance to get back to that. But I do have. I do have the new fish and I've got 25 new fish in my barrel over there so uh, I'll make another video of that it might not be till next weekend but, but I'll get back on that for, for everybody so see you later